Okay, so I decided to strip down the Dell laptop right now and get that probably installed with Windows 95 and whatever. And really, I don't need to strip it down any further than this. Uh, I can use compressed air to blow out anything. Uh, it's just really to get into the sides here and everything that I needed to do. Properly clean these out. As I said in the other video, the buttons are actually broke on there, which is a shame, but I don't know what I'm doing with this laptop. I suggested to my brother that really, if he wanted to have a vintage machine again, but then again, using this, the problem is the graphics card. I did build him a desktop uh, for vintage gaming again, which has a Voodoo 3 in it, I think, but... I don't know what his definition of vintage is because he wants to be able to play things like Call of Duty 1 on it still even the well not Call of Duty 1, Medal of Honor but Medal of Honor will run on his current machine just fine Glare we have the base plastics well top lid and as usual there's always one screw that you can't see so I've bent that a little, my mistake should have been known for that the screen I'll clean this out once I've done the base although it's really not too bad bezel, RAM keyboard and the processor card now these older Dells used to do this the processor wasn't on die as such and it wasn't your standard desktop chip because obviously they couldn't do that back then so they used to make these laptop variants and usually as well the north bridge is on here uh, so this will be the main CPU under this one I would assume and that'll be the north bridge although that's only guessing there's the cooling plate And like I said, I couldn't get the fan to go at all on this thing. So, testament to these old machines, I suppose. I'm not sure if the CMOS battery will need replacing, but then again, it's a NIM pack, so probably not. The speakers are crap. I wonder if someone's ever put any other types in. The really tinny, no good quality, scramble to hell. So they've probably been used at too high a volume. But I shall clean it up. And get Windows 95 installed on it. Okay, so many people know I've just got this laptop recently and I've been fiddling with it over the past couple of days. Um, <clears throat> and as they know it's running Windows XP and the like so I have wanted to install Windows 95B apologies for the traffic which is what it ori originally came with now seeing as I can't be bothered to get out the floppy drive or anything and do this that and the other and get the external link up I'll boot in with my Win90 SC copy And I'll run the farm out that way. So this may be a while, who knows? But I'll just do it anyway. I have finished cleaning this laptop now, or at least its main cleaning, which was interesting to say the least. I found that unlike the later model latitudes the keyboard is not so easy to get out it doesn't just pop out like on the CPX younger cousin you have to give it a bit of force and even pull and in doing so I almost took out the backspace and the spacebar 
uh, but I managed to fit them both back in. I found it's running the latest version of the BIOS, which helped. Um, just need to set CD drive. Uh, yeah, whatever that'll do. Might as well start with CD spot. For the minute I need to remove the XP partition, which is an NTFS, and just make a standard FAT32 partition. Which Win95B supports, as that was the first Windows OS to support FAT32. The drive further found out where I edited my other document is an IBM Travel Star 4300 RPM 4.8 gig which this machine is actually from late 99 early 2000 uh, but it does show just how quick technology changed because by 2001 Pentium 3s were coming out and everyone was replacing these these CPIs with the CPTs, I think they were, or the revised CPs model anyway. I do remember loads of these being chucked out over the years and I wish I'd got them all. But that's hindsight for you. So that is it blanked. Now I don't know if a lot of people ever do this, but whenever I do installations I always copy Windows to the hard drive anywhere, and I'll run the install from there. So it may take a little longer than direct CD, but I prefer it. Yes, it's now missing the Z key. All four bottom left corner keys have gone now. Ay, ay, ay. Do an unconditional format. Although I did give the disc a check disc and a scan and all that. Uh, do unconditional simply because it does alleviate most problems. So I shall get back to you once the formatting is done. Okay, and I'm back. Spay the tedium, whatever the. I've copied the files over and everything already. So now I'm just ready to run setup which is probably going to be the same. I may just record it all and then edit out the middle because there's usual setup for these things. They never change. So, let me just... Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. And... Don't need that. Sorry about the zoom and everything, but as I say, this is... Ah. Of course. Since I'm working off a 98 SE disc here, it needs that one in. Huh. That's a pen. 
Back in a second.